Ooh, you guys caught me. You, you caught me while I was uh, adding a little ambiance to, to my office in here. <laughs> so I, uh, I figured I would check in, check in and, and, and talk to talk to my peoples, talk to my peoples. I've been uh, up to a lot lately. I've been up to a lot. And this morning, when I woke up this morning, the thought that was going through my brain was, uh, do you suffer from wanting to be liked? And I know when you look at that title, you're probably thinking, well, we all want to be liked, right? We all want to be liked. It's a, it's a human, not just human. I think it's anything that's breathing wants to, to be liked, anything with a brain in their head. Because that's all a part of connecting with people is, you know, do you like me? Do you respect me? Right. But is there a time where we go above and beyond that? Is there a time where we do it a little bit too obsessive? Right. And that's why I say, do you suffer with it? Do you suffer with it? Because if you're living your life based on everybody's opinion, based on everybody's reality, you're suffering. You're suffering because you're not living your true self. And uh, yeah, I, I get, oh man, I get distracted when I start. Uh, <laughs> when I start getting comments, man, I love people talking to me. Paul Mitchell, absolutely not. When I finally realized how much I was loved by God, what people thought became insignificant. Ooh, Paul, that's good. That is so good. That is so good. We got comments coming in from other platforms uh, too. And I think everybody kind of has the same sentiment outwardly. And for me, right, I'll be honest, Paul said, absolutely not. For me, years ago, or maybe even a year ago, how do, how do the kids say, I'm going to keep it a buck? I sound like, oh, man, I'm going to keep it a buck. How does the kid say? <laughs> but I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to be real. Um, it took me a very long time to realize how much that I was loved by not only God, but loved by the people that's in my life. Loved by the people that's already in my life. When people are suffering, they're suffering because they know that something else, or they think that something else is better. They think that something else is better. So they're suffering. I'm, I'm in a dark, cold cave. I know what it feels like to sit in my house and know what heat feels like against my body, know what it feels like to have that, that hot cup of cocoa. I know what this feels like. This feels like pure hell. Pure hell because I know what heaven feels like. So, Back to Paul's comment. Absolutely not. When I finally realized how much I was loved by God, what people thought about me became insignificant. And that's why I say for, for, for me, it's God and the people that's in my life. The people that I, I'm tapping in with on a constant basis. It could be freaking every year I check in with one of my brothers. One of my brothers that was, you know, in the Marine Corps or for you, brothers or sisters or, or, or whatever. When you're in college or high school, those friends, you check in with them. Like for me, that's huge. That's huge. That's big. 
It's bigger than big. But when we start caring so much about what other people say about us, other people think about us, we're suffering. Because we know that that greater love, that greater love that we get from God, and depending on, on what religion or your spirituality, it dependent on what it is that you subscribe to, there's no greater love than that because it comes back to you tenfold. So love yourself. Love yourself and you don't have to worry about what everybody else is saying about you. First, love yourself. Then other ones. Yeah. Yeah. My my brother, my, my brother Ramani, I, I agree. Then other ones. My sister, no, my brother, not being liked by others is their problem, not yours. Know and love yourself first. I love that. Uh, for the people that's, that's still with us, right? There's a quote. Uh, there, there's a quote by Les Brown, and I can't think of it. It's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Put it in the comment section if you know what that quote is. Oh my God, it's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. As a matter of fact, uh, on one of the podcasts I did, I did a a podcast uh, with a a NASCAR racer and he was actually, he was actually saying that he met Les Brown. He met Les Brown and Les Brown told him that quote too. And I was just like, oh my God, I love that. Oh man, it's going to, it's going to drop me nuts if I don't figure this out. Anyway, so help me out. Look it up. Do whatever you got to do. Help me out so I can keep going with this because I got a point. Um, so the uh, so the, the opinion of others and living and suffering. The opinion of others and, and living and suffering. I I suffered for, for that my whole life always wanting people to love me because I love the shit out of people, right? I love people and I want everybody to love me because I love everybody. So what happens to that person that loves everybody, that gives to everybody when somebody, somebody, doesn't appreciate that. Hmm. How do you stay grounded when you care about what other people think, right? You're, 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 you're always in a balance. And that's kind of how I was always in a balance. What do I, what do I say? What do I not say? I mean, who else feel, who else has had this problem? I can't be the only one out of all of these people that, 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 that are watching this. I cannot be the only one who else suffered from that. It's it's funny because I remember when I first got into the business that 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 I'm in right now. I first got into uh, speaking, like one of our businesses, right? I had first gotten into speaking, and I had a conversation with. I had a conversation with. No, I take that back. <laughs> I hadn't got into speaking. I was thinking about getting into speaking. And I had a conversation with one of my good friends uh, right now. I'm not going to say her name if you're watching. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to say her name. But we had this this conversation, and uh, we had high. I'll say her name. Uh, Laurel Youngstrom. She's an amazing, uh, inspirational speaker, transformational speaker. Her and her husband. They uh, they grow across. They grow across the world, and they give their message. They give their message of hope and and how to keep going when, when life gets you down. I encourage you to check her out. But uh, she and I, we had an interaction and I, um, I, I hired their company to come and talk to the, the folks in, in my company. And they came and she did an amazing job. And I told her afterwards, what did you, what did you think? Right. What did you think about, um, 
what I said because I opened them up and I figured that this would be a chance to to, to practice the things that I was working on. And she said, ah, uh, you did good. You did good. You uh, said a lot of big words. Huh. You said a lot of big words. And that's the only thing that I heard. That's the only thing that I heard. You said a lot of big words. And then I'm sorry, my, my brain started swirling. And then I came back and I'm just like, well, you asked for feedback. <laughs> you asked for feedback. You got the feedback. This is the feedback that's going to help you. And she was right. I was, I was in that moment, I was crafting the, the speech because I wanted everybody in that audience to like it. I wanted them to like it more than I wanted to prove to myself. So what did I do? I, I freaking, same thing I do right now. Freaking, I got my pen down, right? Got my pen down, got my head, got my, my earphones on and I'm just listening to music, right? I'm, I'm, I'm gone. But I wasn't writing that message to actually deliver the message. I was writing that message because I wanted them to like me while I was delivering the message. And that's something that I talk a lot about uh, to the folks that hit me up in the DMs. And we talk about getting over my fear of, of public speaking. I, I talk a lot about that. And some of the methods that, that I've used throughout the years, they've been very extreme. <laughs> they've been very extreme, but it worked, right? Can I tell you now, uh, when it's time to go on the stage to deliver a speech, it doesn't matter if it's between, I mean, if it's a speech for one to freaking 1,000 to 7,000 to 10,000, right? I know that I can handle it. I know that I can handle it because I, I took myself through these steps, but the biggest obstacle and the biggest hurdle in getting over that, right? The biggest obstacle and biggest hurdle of getting over that is not suffering because you want everybody to like you, not suffering because you want everybody to like you, you have to love yourself first. You have to know that whatever it is that you're doing, you're living your life with good intention. You're being intentional about the things that you're doing in your life and you're giving and you're serving because that's what life is about, giving and serving. That's what life is about, giving and serving. You're doing all of those things. Why? Why do we continue to suffer. Why do we suffer? Because we want everybody to like us more than we want to like ourselves, more than we want to like ourselves. For me, I figured out that it wasn't about money. It wasn't about anything that was going on uh, with the company that I was working for. What I loved to do was to do exactly what I'm doing right now, and that's talking to you. And I'll do this for the rest of my life. I've dedicated my life to doing this. That's what I like to do. So when you're going on your journey, you're gonna have people that are gonna tell you, you're not good, you, you can't do it. There's no way. I wanna encourage you to maybe just nod or run away <laughs> as, as quick as you can because you don't want you don't want that going into your brain because what that is is having a, a fixed mindset it's a fixed mindset no matter if it's your husband your brother your cousin your sister your spouse no matter who it is right their mindset is fixed on something totally different than what your mindset is fixed on. Everybody's not gonna agree with the plan or the path forward. When I got ready to go on this journey that I'm on, I told people and they were just like, what? You? What about your kids? What, if, no, what? They didn't get it. But the people, the people that, that, that rock with me, they got it. They got it. They're like, hey, 
this is what I need you to do. I need you to stop when you speak. While you're thinking, pause. Because you, you, you're throwing some ums in there and it's distracting. Tony, don't use so like don't use those big words. We get it. You're, you're educated. Like, but we need to get it. You need to bring your authentic self. Love yourself. Love the way that you are. Love the way that you talk. I <laughs> man, look, I could go on and on, but I'm a uh, oh my God. The speaking engagements that I've had have been at places where you would think, okay, you gotta you gotta wear a suit and tie, and you should, you know, do X Y Z. I show up with the Inspire shirt on. I show up with the Inspire shirt on. Maybe the hat that I'm that I'm wearing it wasn't this logo, right? It wasn't this logo, but. It was one that I had made on like Etsy or something like that. But I, I show up with that because that's what I'm comfortable in. This is the stuff that I wear. <laughs> this is the stuff that I wear. And that feeling of, of not having to conform so that, and not, that, not just light, because this is another layer, but that feeling of not having to conform to something that just really didn't fit me, Right. At one point in time in my career, I would show up, I would show up and I would have a, I would have a shirt. I would have a tie. I even, I even rock the suspenders. I look, man, I look pretty cool. <laughs> hey, if, if you worked with me and you remember those days, uh, put it in the comment section, right? Hey, hey, I was suited and booted, but that was the phase that I was going through. And right now, like this is, this is my suit and tie and I feel comfortable in this and anybody that don't accept it, that's, you know, that's, that's fine because we're not built to be for everybody. Computers are not even built to fit everybody. If I go on my, my Mac, <laughs> I go on my Mac for a couple of days and then I try to go back to the PC. Sometimes it's, I just say, you know, I just, I just give up. I need to get my task done the right click and the left. I can't, I can't compute it right now. This is not built for me. Just like an Android phone. I, I wouldn't know how to turn the thing on. But if society was built for us to be like everybody and for everybody to be like us, it'll be quite different. It'll be quite different. There wouldn't be a difference of opinions. We wouldn't have this problem of suffering from not wanting to be liked. We wouldn't have it. When you're being your authentic self, that's when you get good. When you're being your authentic self, is when you get good. I know y'all like, what is this dude doing? <laughs> but yeah, it's it's uh it's work, it's work. But I know that I was doing that. That's what I was doing. <laughs> um, yeah, comment below if 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 you've if you've had that problem. But you get good. You get good when you stop suffering. So speaking engagements for me, and I keep going back to this, but it's not just for uh speakers. I'm connected with a lot of speakers. So that's why everything in my brain is like speaking, 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 because that's where. That's where my brain's been. But um, I look at some of the early things that I've done as far as speaking engagements and I, I cringe and I cringe because I recognize that in myself. I recognize, man, you don't you don't talk like that. That's not that's not how you move. Why did you say that? 
right? And then that's when I, I noticed that my brain is, is is clicking over from being my authentic self to maybe bending a little bit, right? If you're a jerk, if you're a jerk, <laughs> maybe you don't want to be your authentic self. But if you're kind, you're loving, you're giving, and you're living a life of, of serving, because that's what this life is about. It's about serving. To be your authentic self. But I would cringe because I knew what that looked like. I knew what that looked like. And it's a sad place. But I also had people around me that could bring me back and say, dude, that's not it. Like my wife, she would be, I'd be like, hey, what do you think about this, honey? What do you think about this? She'd go, well, it's, it's good. It's okay. And then she goes, well, well, you kind of sound it. You kind of sound it like E.T. on there. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know who E.T. is, E.T. is a, a motivational speaker. Uh, man, he pulled me out of some some times, him and Les Brown. And uh, E.T., man, you, you look at E.T.'s YouTube channel, and he giving you he giving you the energy, giving it to you, giving it to you. Uh, and it's aggressive. It's like, you know, you got this one video on YouTube. It's called, uh, ugh, I forgot what it's called. But he's saying... You must want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. Meaning like if your lungs were to stop going, would you still be chasing this dream? Uh, do you get what they're like? Would you still be chasing this dream? Would you still like, would, are you, would you be obsessed about staying alive just as equal to or more than getting that goal, right? So, so that's where he go, right? But so, so, so that got me, right? So that's ingrained in, in, in me, just listening to that and just kind of seeing how he vibes. Like that's ingrained in me. So sometimes I'll say something and and it's just like automatic. But I would like watch the video, so of course that would come up. But having people around that could that could say, hey. You know, no, that's not that's not who you are. And for me, who I am, whether it's on the stage, whether it's talking to my wife, my kids, my mom, I wanted the conversation to be like this because this is who I am. So if you're at work, if you're at home, if you're by yourself, try focusing and looking, focusing and looking at your life, looking at your patterns, looking at your attitude, looking at your spirit, looking at your life, the people around you. Are you suffering? from wanting to be liked? Are you suffering? Are you not allowed to be your authentic self? Are you living your life based on everybody else? I'm rhyming, <laughs> I'm rhyming. Let me get in the comments. I think I got this one. Yeah, no brother not being liked by others is their problem, not yours. Know and love yourself, I agree. Harmony, we suffer when we allow ourselves to suffer. Tony always states the truth and his truth. And I so much appreciate his way of spreading a message in purity. Oh, my God. I'm a softie, y'all. Um, I think that's like two times this week where... <laughs> <laughs> where my eyes just got, like, just get that feeling, you know, that feeling where you're like, oh my God. Man, I'm a goofball like that. I, now I, I'm super, um, 
No, it means a lot, right? It, it means a lot to me because, um, like I said, I my whole life like went from that to this in a matter of seconds. A split decision, like a split decision. And that was from me going from wanting to be liked, right? Because there's there's some stuff, some stuff in there I want to be liked to wanting to find my true self, my true purpose, my true calling. Living in a state of flow, like for real, like flow. Like <laughs> how many times? Like, 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 I'm, you see, I still do it. But being in a state of mind to where everything that you're doing is making you happy. Yes, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have things externally that's going to keep, <laughs> that's going to keep like its foot on your back. That's going to put its foot on your back and you're going to feel like you're drowning. You're going to feel like there's no turning back. You're going to feel like this is just, ugh, I just want to ca don't cave in. You have got to keep going. You have got to keep fighting. You have got to want this thing, the joy, the end of suffering. You have got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. You've got to want it that bad that bad so for me for me you know and i'm gonna say for you too i'm gonna declare this for all of us what we're going to do is we're going to live our life we're going to live our life we are going to end the suffering of not wanting to be liked or the suffering from wanting to be liked. See, I, it's already, ugh, it's gone. We don't want it. We don't need it. It's like a cancer. We have to cut it out. We have to, to, to get to, to being our true self. That's what joy is. Joy is loving yourself, loving your environment, giving. That's joy. I got a really good friend, if, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, we got this, brother. My brain, guys. This is my my weakness. Uh, all right, <laughs> I had to write it down because because if not, I forget. I had a thought, um, but I but I want to make sure that I uh, pay some some attention to my brother Victor. I got an offer on that position. <clears throat> I, I I got an offer on that position. I've adjusted my mind before doing it. Thank you for what you do. So glad I heard you live the other day and acted on it. You know, and like let me let me say this: like that the that power that that power is in you. Right. For anybody that's looking at Victor's testimony, that the power is in you. There's a lot of motivational speakers, thought leaders, like some of like my peers. They will 
tell you that you need them or not even tell you that, but maybe are, are wanting to be liked or wanting to be accepted. We, we follow and we feel like the only way that we can take over our life is if we follow. It's in here. It's already in you. Greatness is already in you. Les Brown says it. You have greatness in you. That's the way that it, you have greatness in you. That's what, it, that's what Les Brown says. And what I took from that when I first heard that was that I don't need to suffer from being like. I don't need to suffer from having a mindset to where I think that I'm not going to get the position or I think that I'm not going to be able to do something because I'm holding myself back. Because inside of my head, I have chains on my head and I need somebody else to help me release the trains. No, I have the power inside of here and inside of here. So if you're looking at Victor's testimony, that's a testimony to Victor. That's a testimony to Victor. Victor. Oh, man. I'm, <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Congratulations, brother. Mm-mm. Harmony, you got this, Tony. Being comfortable with your authentic self and getting to a maturity level in life where you don't have to hide behind others' pre-expectations. This is what allows us to bring joy to others. Yep. And that's a really good tie-in to... Um, give me one second. I went on a... <clears throat> went on a bike ride this morning and uh, if you see like my hands and stuff like even like my elbows i was riding my bike <clears throat> and uh I'm, I'm in the the bike lane and this car comes up it wasn't gonna clip me but um i i don't i'm afraid of riding in the bike lane in some of the some of these places people don't pay attention to it so i was a little bit nervous <laughs> riding through there because it was pretty tight and uh i actually fell off my bike oh my wife not watching because i'll probably get in trouble because that street is pretty bad but uh so what was i going with that but yeah so i yeah i'm i was i'm pretty thirsty man i went on a pretty long bike ride this morning it lasted until this afternoon it was it was pretty cool I, I fell off a hill and yeah it was it was pretty good but um but with the statement you got it tony being comfortable with your authentic self and getting into a maturity level <clears throat> in life where you don't have to hide behind others pre-expectations this is what allows us to bring joy to others and uh what i was going to say is that's a really good tie-in to um what i was getting ready i was talking about flow and I don't know if you all have seen this movie, but it's called Happy. This movie is is, is called Happy. It's an amazing movie. I uh, if you were suffering from wanting to to be like you have that thing going on inside of your life, like you're you're suffering because because you want to be liked. That's a good movie to watch. And in that movie, it's talking about. It's talking about flow. It's talking about uh, people, some people living in third world countries. And we you would look at their life and you would just say, damn, how are they so freaking happy? How? How are they happy? You know people like that too, right? Where you're just looking, it's how are they so freaking happy? What are they so freaking happy about? <laughs> I've said that. Right. I've said that. But in this movie, right, this movie addresses that the people that are just so happy that you like it, you love it, you want it. But you just like ah, it's a lot sometimes. Right. But this movie happy 
it, it, it talks about that. It talks about getting into flow. It talks about service to others. It talks about joy. It talks about just so it, what, what Harmony said. It talks about joy. And it's serving people. Right? It's serving. I know that sounds crazy. Do you suffer from wanting to be liked? And now I'm telling you that joy, according to this movie, is about serving people, serving the, 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 the people that are in your life. In your life. I hate to say this, but um, another quote from Les Brown. Les Brown say, only survive, only surround yourself. I think it's with QPs. That's quality people, <laughs> people that's going to add value to your life, not somebody that you can take from or anything like that, but people that is like you, people that want to grow, people that don't have a fixed mindset, people that have a growth mindset. And if you surround yourself around those people, guess what they're going to be doing? They're going to be given to you. And if you're one of those quality people, you are going to be given to them. That's what joy is. That's what joy is about. Joy is about giving. But in order to give, you have got to get over the suffering of wanting to be liked. And I said suffering. So I, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, that's funny. Man, I, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. I'm looking at another platform and uh, somebody's like, hey, Tony, your website is Tony. Your website is www.tonytaylorinspires.com. Why is it saying TonyTaylor.com? <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. That's feedback. That's feedback because guess what? That's screwed up. So we got to fix that because the website, that came perfect too. <laughs> the website is TonyTaylorInspires.com. That's the website. These videos, I do these videos to kind of, not necessarily so it could be like a show, but I do these videos because um, whatever it is that that I'm going through in life, that I'm growing through in life, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. You, you change up your language, you change up your life, whatever it is that I'm growing through in life or have grown through or some stuff I just need to figure out how to get over. Um, I'm, I'm using this platform. I'm using this platform to do so. And I believe in the thought concept that our pains, our struggles could be made a whole hell of a lot easier if we had community. So it, yeah, if we, if we have community, there's unity in community. I, I stole that one from uh, my amazing mentor, uh, Michael, Michael Pritch, Pitchford. That's what he says. He says there's unity in community. That's why I do this, because there's unity in community. I met some amazing people, some amazing people uh, off of this platform that have changed my freaking life. Okay, changed my life. They change my life. And that's from networking and saying, hey, I'm 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 struggling with this. So that's me. I know I said I was gonna go, but <laughs> um, that's 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 me saying I feel vulnerable and I need help in this, or I see that you need something and you need help in this. Like my life has changed from serving serving and also allowing other people 
to, 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 to be a blessing, to be a blessing in, in, in my life. So uh, unity in community. I got that from Michael Pitchford. And as a matter of fact, uh, before I go, I'll tell you a story about him. And it ties into this so good. So good. I interviewed uh, Dr. Summer Watson on the show. On the show. I interviewed her on uh, uh, Tony Taylor Inspires the Podcast. And uh, I had just gotten into to, to podcasting and it was just uh, me, me learning. That's what that is about. If you've listened to the podcast, the podcast that I have right now is uh, Leaders Lead the Podcast. And um, that podcast is I'm, I'm putting everything in that. Some of the best guests that, that you can ever imagine. Right. So back to some, Dr. Summer Watson, I met her on uh see I, i'm passionate man. I love, oh shit i man i i love 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 what i do i love what i do um yeah so i can kind of lose track at times but um dr summer watson i had her on the show it was amazing i learned so much from her it was one of those interviews go go and look at it if you, if you got a chance go and look at it on my youtube uh, Tony Taylor inspires. Just go ahead and click that into YouTube. But you should be able to find me. But go and check out that interview with Dr. Summer Watson. It was amazing. You'll see me. Uh, you'll you'll see me. I loved it. It was like I'm I'm leaned, I'm leaned into it like this, because I felt like I was at the kitchen table. <laughs> I felt like I was at the kitchen table, getting game from one of my aunties or getting game from my mom. Like I felt like I was sitting at the kitchen table and I was learning so much from her. But what she did was afterwards we got off and, you know, she said, you got to check out this motivational speaker. You got to check out this motivational speaker. He is amazing. And I had just gotten into the game <laughs> and I'm like, why do I need to look at a, another motivational speaker? I don't need, I was going to wait to share this, this, the whole thing with her. So hopefully she's not watching. Cause I kind of want to tell her kind of, this is, this is a special story, <laughs> special, but I said, okay. And I think she maybe sent the message with both of us in it and, um, and we connected we connected and once he and I connected, he said, I'm going to be your mentor. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow. Huh? It was shocked because I, I've been looking at TV. Well, I thought TV. I'm not looking at no TV. Um, if you look at the, the, the interwebs, <laughs> you look at the interwebs, they have, everybody is, everybody's a mentor. Man, this thing is annoying me. There we go. So you look at the, the, the interwebs, everybody is a mentor and everybody is, not everybody, I don't want to generalize it, but they're all selling some type of mentorship. And some of these mentorships are like twenty, thirty thousand dollars And and I, I I think that that's cool if that works for you. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't got no thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars for uh for a mentor. I don't I don't have it. Just don't have it for that. <sighs> we got to get these kids into college, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh so I said, yeah, okay. And I'm listening and it's just like, oh my God, he gave me so much game about what it is that I do that I am like, there must be a, a, a trick. There must be a trick. It's been over a year now <laughs> and there was no, there was no trick. My life, my life changed. From me not wanting to 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 suffer anymore for feeling like I'm being liked or for not wanting people to to or not caring 
that's what I'm saying. Well, that's not even it. Not not Karen. It's on the oh my god, it's on the tip of my tongue. If you could think about it, put it in the comment section. But getting to the point where you realize, but it doesn't affect you as much if somebody don't like you or if somebody don't agree with you or if somebody don't support you, even the people that you support it. Getting to the point where it don't affect you. You do that, it's going to change your life. That's your mindset. That's a growth mindset. So instead of me saying, you know what? I need to surrender so that I can get good. This dude came in my life, man, and it's been amazing. I told you about the movie uh, Happy. He was in it. He was in it. He's a man, interesting guy. Interesting guy. He's like a legend and uh, a legend in, in California. Everybody knows about this dude. I mean, he is really good. He was he's, he was best friends with uh, Robin Williams. He even did coach Robin Williams on some stuff. And now he's my coach. <laughs> he's my coach. And it's so freaking humbling. I mean, he was in the movie Taxi. He's actually the voice of Ewok. I mean, he's an amazing guy. But had I would have not had the the the, the wherewithal, right? Had, well, I'm not going to say I had it because I feel like the universe is pushing me that way. Had I would have not opened myself up, I wouldn't have had that, that relationship. And that's what life is about. Life is about having relationships, but not having relationships to your detriment. And your detriment is that you, I mean, let's say we, because I I like to think of myself as a recovering, somebody that was a, a recovering person that suffered from wanting to be liked. But you want quality people in your life. We're humans. We have to have people in our life to lean on, but not to our detriment. Get people in your life that's going to help you. You, more importantly, you be a beacon of hope for somebody else. You be a beacon of hope for somebody else. There's some people, drop of a hat, they need something, I'm there. I'm there. Not because I want something from them, but because I believe that joy is given. Joy is serving. Joy is paying attention. Paying attention, but not being so focused on who likes you because that's a deep, deep, deep form of suffering. Harmony Wood, thank you as always, Tony. Ah, thank you. I appreciate you. My brother Victor, I got my wife listening to your message today, loving it. Us. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. I'm glad that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that that you're getting something out of this. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, for anybody else that, that want to connect with me, uh, please feel free to do so. My website, my website is uh, www.tonytaylorinspires.com. Www Tony Taylor inspires.com. Uh, my email address is info at Tony Taylor inspires. Um, if there's something that I can do uh, to, to help you, if there's something I can do to help you, you're going through some, some hardship, you're going through some pain. Uh, maybe you're suffering from, from this right here, right? You having some, you're having some leadership issues at work and you're trying to figure out how to get through it. Um, I'm really proud 
really proud uh, that we, our company, we now offer uh, that leadership training. It is my bread and butter. If you're going, when I say my bread and butter, I'm talking about it's, it's that thing that, that really, really, really gets me fired up because uh, most of the people in the world, they work for somebody. Most of the people in the world that work for somebody and working for whoever you're working from for, right? Uh, it could it could be a stress. And if you don't have the right leadership in place, uh, it could just be a mess. <laughs> it'll, it'll just be a mess. But um, I think leadership, leadership is really important, right? Leadership is important. It ties back into you suffering, me suffering, us suffering from wanting to be liked or wanting the likes. <laughs> I've suffered from it. But us suffering from wanting to be like, it all ties back. It all ties back to that. And with the, the leadership training that our company offers, um, it's, it's, it's getting those leaders to realize that you, the employee, run the place. You run the place and you should be treated good. You should be served. Leadership is a privilege. Some people say leadership has is privileges. And usually this is just what I say. I believe that usually when people say that, uh, the person that's saying that, uh, that's their cop out of saying, you know, I get to get more things than my employees. Right. That's what I believe. So we change that to, it's a privilege to be in leadership. And in order to fulfill that privilege of being in leadership, you have got to be a leader in your life first. A leader in your life first. And in order to be a leader in your life, you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your mind. You got to take care of your body and make sure that you're putting some stuff into your soul. Because it doesn't matter what religion you believe in, you have, in order to stay centered, at least me, I'm going to say me on this one, I always have to believe that there is something greater than myself. And that's not just the things that I see, because I believe that the people will always be greater than me because I'm changing things around in, in my life. It's about serving. But if those things weren't in place, if I didn't have that, that, that sense of not only purpose for myself, but purpose to give to something greater and understanding that there is something greater, I would be void. I would have nothing. Nothing up here, down there, or any of this. I wouldn't have it. So I want to encourage you. Your minds stay off of the 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 the, the social media. Not stay off of it. <laughs> so like somebody daddy. Stay off of that social media. Govern yourself when it comes to, to social media. Govern yourself when it comes to social media. Give me one second. Oh, I'm going to try something new. Hold up. Hold up. And I'm going to get to the comments in a second. Give me one second. I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cheesy, right? But <clears throat> so all right, there we go. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? There we go. <laughs> so um 
your mind, body, and soul. Uh, yeah, my boy Victor, he said he like it. Got to vote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for taking this big Saturday afternoon to mentor oh brother you have no idea you are mentoring me um <clears throat> but I I received that I really I really do I appreciate it so your your mind right this is what I do for for my mind I um uh, I read I read a lot and uh, I don't read books. Uh, I'll be real clear, man. I, I'll be clear on this one. I don't read books. Um, I've bought several books to, to, I don't actually physically read them, right? I listen to audio books, but I bought several books from my friends. You know, my, a lot of my peers are, they're selling books and stuff like that. So I've, um, I've bought those books from them to support them, but also, uh, I'll buy the audio book as well. So I, I read books um, for my mind. I uh, take breaks from social media. When I say take breaks, uh, it, it, it could be certain people. It could be certain platforms. It could be whatever. It could be the news, whatever it is, man, I, I'll take a break from it. If it's not positive, then I will like kind of not nah, 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 because I'm one of those people that um I like action movies, right? And you know what happens when you watch an action movie? Sometimes you could be consumed by the the action or the or the drama, right? So just kind of clearing clearing that. I go do things that I like to do, right? I uh I like fishing. So I'll go and I'll go ar around the, the the sound out here in the Pacific Northwest in, in my boat, I'll go hit some lakes. I'll, um, you know, spend time with the wife, spend time with my kids, spend time with some of my close friends, right. And family. So I'm, I, I'm making sure that this is intact because if not, it's not pretty just like anybody else, anybody else. It's not, it's not pretty. Because there's, there's three pillars to this, right? My body. I wake up every morning. I make sure that um, that I go on a bike ride. I go on a bike ride 10, 15, no, nah, not 15. Don't get me. Don't. I don't want to start lying here. I think the longest I went was like 12. But I freaking enjoy it. That's, that's my joy. That's my joy. Can you imagine me out there on my bike? <laughs> In the morning, I got this like cool freaking helmet that I wear that has Bluetooth. It's it's pretty it's pretty dope. I'm like obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's my joy. It's that thing. I I I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, I get to go do this today. Ride my bike. That's my joy. I get to do what I do for a living today. That's joy. I want to ensure that you're in that joy. So that's the, the, the body part. Changing things, you know, the, the way that I eat. I love food. Food don't always love me, right? I got some crazy allergies that just affect me. So I have to freaking eat clean for the rest of my life. And it is something I realized I just, in order for it to work, but it helps me. It helps my, my skin, right? It helps every, it, it just, it's, it's good. I drink water when I can. So that that's your body. And then whatever it is that you subscribe to, as far as spirituality, that's important, right? At least, that's what I believe. I believe that it's important. I believe that it's very important. Right? Believe in something. That if you believe in something that's higher than you, it could just be the people. Right? What's your life's goal? What's your What's your dream? Where are you? Like, where are you headed? What's your legacy? On my podcast, 
uh, leaders lead the podcast. That's I always finish up. I, I want to I ask, what's your legacy? What's your legacy? What's in your spirit? When you leave this earth, what do you want people to say about you? I'm not talking about suffering what they're going to say because they're going to say what they're going to say. All right. When I was growing up, um, like I, like I, I told you that I always had that problem of suffering from wanting to be like my mom would say, my mom would say, boy, you think they're not going to talk or they're not going to say nothing bad about you. They talk trash about Jesus Christ. They talk trash about Jesus Christ. I don't think she said trash. I think she said another one, but they talk trash about Jesus Christ. So who are you? Okay. I want it to be liked. So if you didn't hear nothing that I said today. The last thing that I want you to hear is this. But it don't even matter that I'm saying it. What matters is that you believe it. What matters is if you see it, even if you don't see it, you believe that you can get to it, this point of getting over the suffering from being light. You're beautiful. You're uniquely made. There's nobody on the face of the planet Earth that's built like you. Your strengths, they belong to you. Use them. Don't worry so much about people not liking you or liking your ideas. They belong to you. God, the universe gave them to you. For a reason, they belong to you. You use them or somebody else's God-given talents is going to use you. And sometimes that's not even a bad thing. But if you're suffering from wanting to be liked, you have to realize the potential that you have inside of you start making plans have an understanding with yourself that your dreams your goals the things that you know that the universe is calling you to do start walking towards that purpose understanding that some people they just ain't gonna see it some people, they're not going to believe it. Some people, they're just waiting on you to do it and they'll follow you. They'll follow you. When I first started my journey <clears throat> with, with the whole podcast and thing, I, I was telling you guys about Tony Taylor Inspires, the podcast. It was kind of like me just talking to people that I'm, that I'm interested in. If you want to check out some of those, go and go and check them out. It's on all of your major podcasts, streaming networks. I said that right this time. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's, that's where those are at. Go check them out. Amazing interviews. Just like I told you with Dr. Summer Watson. And I got some interviews, uh, Jesse Uigi, uh, the NASCAR driver, right? He's black. Can you believe that? NASCAR driver, dude, me and him, we kind of look alike you now, <laughs> but that was, that made me proud to see that he's in the NASCAR. He's kicking butt. So he's on now. Tony Taylor inspires the podcast. I got my friend, Sajel, Sajel Thatcher. She's out here killing it. She's out here killing it. She'll probably kill me if she heard me say this, but she is, I would go ahead and say a civil rights activist. She's killing it. She's killing it. But in that podcast, that's that's what we're talking about. We're talking about those people. We're talking about those people that are that are making a difference in the community. Right. So go go and check out that podcast. But what I was saying was um when I was trying to get people on that podcast, 
uh, I, I would get this. So this, and this is for the, the, the folks who's venturing out like with their own businesses, you're going to get shut down. I was getting shut down left and right. Some people would see the message. Hey, I want you to be on my podcast. Oh, I, I, I want you to come and talk to me. And then like, I'll see it that it says seen, but then they don't respond to me. And then I just go, oh man, that hurts. <laughs> or they'll say, how many downloads you got? Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> I'm brand new. <laughs> Six downloads. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, go check out Tony Taylor Inspires, uh, the podcast and leave a review, right? Leave a review so we can get more downloads. But um, people would ignore it, ignore the messages. So they would just say, dude, that ain't going to help me. I'm good. But I kept going. Look, I kept going. And now the same people, I scroll up to some of the messages for the request for uh, Leaders Lead the Podcast or Tony Taylor Inspires the Podcast. And there's some of those same people. So, of course, we're going to have them on the show. <laughs> but that just goes to show you that it's not like you can't suffer from, you know, wanting everybody to like you because you're not for everybody at that time. So recognize that. Recognize that. And I know that you have a story like that in you. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear, you know, some of the things that you've battled through. Um, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, like I said, my website is Tony Taylor Inspires dot com tony taylor inspires dot com not tony taylor dot com um info at tony taylor inspires dot com please feel free uh to reach out if there's anything that i can do to to help you just need to talk friend hit me up i uh look forward to hearing from you let's see that i amen said out loud for the people in the back of the internet i love it this is what I do, produce corporate events live and virtual. So, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Man, maybe we could, um, maybe you and I could uh, get together sometime, brother, and see what we can do together. I got some crazy ideas. I always got some crazy ideas. So, yeah, I am going to go. I got some homework to do until next time how do you how do i end this how do most people end these i've been going for a long time <laughs> all right i'll talk to y'all later bye